You may be right. No. It's all a waste of time. I guess that's just a chance we're prepared to take. Analyzing the Rush song, Cut to the Chase. Every Rush song. And return from the image. <laughs> Cut to the Chase. This might be my favorite song on this album. Oh, counterparts. I know. I, I say that when I listen to it, and then I play a few more tracks, and I go, "No, this is my favorite song. No, yeah. this is my favorite song. No, this is." I think it's too soon to 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 pick a favorite. It's too it's soon to tell. Song. Yeah, we're only at so track cool. third. Why yeah. do you put a song this good third? Don't ask me. Because all the others kick so much ass. Yeah, there's <laughs> a, there's true. only so much ass that can be kicked, and <laughs> right, kick it early, kick it they, soon, kick it early, they, kick it often. They reach the limit. With the first two, and then you just, yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah, what indeed? Yeah. So, cut to the chase, fans. Like it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good song. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were talking to the audience. <laughs> I thought you were like, <laughs> uh, we're taking calls now. We have fans. <laughs> Fargo, Call North Dakota, uh, line you're one. On the red you're line. on the air. I'd like to hey. apologize to all my fans out there. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I think sorry, it man. is sorry, a man. fan. Yes. So, yeah. So we had started before rating, ranking, I guess, grading. No, not sure what we're calling it. The the one, twos, and threes. I don't. Maybe maybe the solo. It's a pretty good solo. I think. I guess Alex. It's a great performance for him. Oh, it's a damn good solo. I made notes about the solo. Anyway. Excellent. It's for you. But we're oh, not man, doing and I have right. right, yeah. Well, I, and I have a lot of I, I probably have as many sound bites from this as I would add from any song on, on, Power Windows or Nice. I'm not gonna say Moving Pictures yet. That might don't be, say it. I'm don't not gonna exaggerate. Don't say it. But yeah, there's a lot off. of say, and they're all right there in the solo. Most of them center around just so many cool things happening during that yeah. guitar solo. Yeah, but <laughs> but as, as awesome as this song is, does it? Does anyone really, other than the solo section, any other performances really outshine their performances in other songs? Like the drums, is Neil, is this one of his better drumming songs? Or is it kind of in the middle versus just yeah, technical I mean, oh, to, to me. me, yeah, overall, it's in the middle. However, yeah. his busyness with the kick drum, I like. Do do got do 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 gajaka do got do yeah that I really like that. And but the bass? You know, everything oh. else is you know it's it, it's oh, well we'll talk about this song but double agent you know that was their get the yaya's out kind of song you know get and get a little yaya, crazy to me yeah. everything else on this album was just really good rock songs in, in a way almost like the writing approach that they used in like presto and roll the bones you know nothing crazy flashy not you know what a normal rush fan would be expecting to hear from the greatest drummer greatest bassist and the greatest guitarist ever known to mankind so they went with i Both guess a more fit. So a little simpler and not really simpler, but you know, just a more concise rock song. But the difference between these songs on counterparts and then presto and roll the bones is that they found their balls. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's meaty, it's bassy, it's grungier sounding. Turns out they, they had them all along. They just had to believe in themselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gears of Diamonds. Now, it, that's more to do with the production, right? Not necessarily the performance. Or did, did they play ballsier or harder or something on this one than, than those? I, I mean, I think the approach was to, hey, we need to get back to beating it up and making it sound more like rock songs. Not like really, really great songs that 
you would hear on KVIL. <laughs> oh. For Let's those see. of you who don't know, KVIL is a local radio station that plays sort of light music. Ad- like adult contemporary, yeah. is that? Well, yes. right, adult it's contemporary, called. but but it's still like great rushed. Ron Chapman. So if you go and re-record yeah. note for note, rhythm for rhythm, presto, and roll the bones, but use the same approach and the sound, the mixing and everything, uh, I think that helps some of those songs from those albums become even better. And there's some great songs, I mean, I'm not dissing those albums whatsoever. I love those songs from those albums. But, you know, again, first time I heard that opening line on Stick It Out, I thought it was a new Kiss song. You know, yeah, it just it, that vibe, yeah. it, it had that edge to it. That's what the that's what they lost. They tried so, to starting with Presto, they try to get out of the keyboard era. But they lost the edge that they would have in their music. And turns out that was an error. <laughs> it's, hmm. So uh, I we, we, I guess we're going to be talking about the music right now. So yeah, uh, yeah, we'll I get would, to the lyrics next week. Yeah, I, I would like to mention something that I was I, I read up today, a little research I did on on the music. Oh, before uh, that, can we do? Let's do a cut real quick, a little clip. Do a cut. We've got to do that. We're like, how many minutes into this? Maybe Just cut to the chase and play the cut damn cut. to the chase, sir. I love Scott. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah, and usually I try to play the chorus, but that guitar solo was just exceptional. So when it is a very guy. exceptional guitar solo. Yes, I agree. I agree. Jay, you were about what, to bring uh, up something that you read about Cut to the yes. Chase. Yes. So what I was reading today, what I found out that Cut to the Chase is one of the few songs in the album where Alex uh, Lifeson's original guitar guide track guitar solo uh that was on the demo tape was actually used for the final take and he was quoted about in and i think it was he said it was quoted in guitar player magazine in an interview in december of 1993 he said solos are a funny thing many solos i record at the demo stage make it to the final mix i tend to be a perfectionist but I've come to realize my best work is spontaneous. An unrehearsed, unrehearsed solo may not be particularly in time or in tune, but it can process an emotion qual- emotional quality that's very dip, uh, difficult to capture. At this point, I'd rather live with some technical imperfections, you know, than uh, reading's hard. Sorry. <laughs> I read that part and it's hard. <laughs> But basically, I mean, basically he's saying he's best at when he's just work working off the cuff. And that's what this solo ended up being. He worked off the cuff and they were like, you know, let's just use the one from the demo. Cause that's <laughs> no need to, I, no, no need to rehearse that. You got it right the first time. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. Tim, you got anything? If not, I'm going to start playing some musical stuff in it. It's this way for the whole album. I I just I love the drum sound on this yeah. song. I mean, yeah. it just it sounds it just sounds so true. It, but it's that way on the entire album. Besides moving pictures, which I still think is his best recorded drum sound, this is second to me. Really? Everything. Symbols. Ki- the kick drum is great. The kick drum on this yeah. album just sounds superb. And you can hear the ride and the hi hat. They're just oh, there's a crisp. lot of riding. Yeah, and you can yeah. hear it. Yeah. 
how do you think it compares with the sound of snakes and arrows? I don't know. I haven't, mm. we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, why <laughs> oh, that's true. We haven't got there yet. Oh, sorry. I'm getting ahead of us. All right. So I want to play the verse, the guitar line, the verse, because it, it kind of builds, the music builds each one. So here it is on the, the first verse. It is the fire that lights itself. It's a kind of simple, but it burns just a three, with a restless or the two parts. The arrow on a moving target. So just the guitar line, the bass line, and then the yeah really simple so then when it builds up which cool he's about, using yes. the tambourine again the silver jingle true sure. sorry different sorry so then when he gets to the second verse alex there's there's that line still the guitar line but then there's another guitar track that mimics the bass line and it just sounds cool right it is the rocket that ignites itself and do you notice a little dun dun bow dun 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 <laughs> Sorry. We're all having fun. We're having fun here. Remember, <laughs> remember when we were kids and there was playgrounds? Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, we, the bass Sorry. slide, we'll play it again. It's what we played as a clip that goes into the solo. I love that riff, that the snare, just a dun dun, and then you think he's gonna go dun dun again, but he goes dun dun, dun. Yeah. And, okay, and then there's a, and 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 also in this right, like I was, you know, you would expect right there for Getty to throw in some kind of upper register bass lick right in there, but no, I mean he changes it a dun, little dun, bit, but dun, it's dun, he yeah. to the podcaster that I had so many issues with when uh -oh. he said he wished Here that Betty, that Getty would just do a regular bass line in Earthshine. Oh, what's wrong with you, son? Come on, son. Well, that's what Getty's doing in this song. You know, I mean, he's not getting all jazzy crazy. He's, he's just... <laughs> now, could I play that bass line? Oh, no, yeah. I'm not a bass uh, player. No. Could a lot of bass players play that bass line? Yes. Sure. Why not? After years of heavy, intense, focused practice. Yes. Or just a do. lot of luck. A lot I of bet they can't right. sing that vocal line and play that bass line. And, and play it at yeah. the same time. They they exactly. They would trip over themselves. All right. There's a lot of stuff coming up here, but the next two things is there's a bass, a kick drum rough, double bass rough. That, that's mm -hmm. what we call it, Tim. But then he does it in like, brum, 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 brum. With a spill that's coming up here in a second. Followed by, well, we'll just, I'll listen to that, then we'll get the other part. Is that what's going on there? That yeah. Da, 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 da. He, he, he's just, I mean, he, technically, yeah, you would call it, I guess, a bass drum rough. It's just he's using his double kick. Well, double kick pedal. So one, two on the kick and then hitting the snare. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. I mean, and look, that that's not hard. That's easy. But it just sounds that's cool. Easy. Oh, no, it sounds that, wonderful. And this this is the nothing special, but just cool. Sorry. Cool. That's a cool riff. Just a cool production thing where the guitar lead keeps ringing over as the the band yeah. kicks back into the next part. So we'll listen to that that kick, that drum riff again, 
into the young enough not to care too much with the guitar note ringing over from the end of the solo. It's so awesome. And then I think right here on this part too goes into the eighth notes. The, you were talking about the ride symbol earlier and how crisp it is. I hope I don't know if it's going to come out if you're listening to this or watching this on YouTube. It's not going to be as clear. This is where you're going to want to go get the CD or the album or get a streaming service and listen to this. Triplet. Another triplet. One more triplet. <laughs> that is so awesome. Yes. Now, going back to the forever ringing guitar solo last night. Yes. That's very limelight. Like, yeah, it's not a limelight. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Limelight, it seems like it goes on like the rest of the song. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You can trick yourself into still hearing it going. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let you listen to that again because now listen for the guitar line because each line through this bridge, he adds like another layer of the guitar. So listen for the, this first part. It's got like a dun 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 dun. dun. Then on the second time, he adds a harmonized part on top of that guitar. So listen to the layered guitars. Then right the here. The past has no claim on me. Okay, now two more things in that section. One, there's a crazy drum fill here. I mean, it's not like, it's not super, well, you can tell us, Tim, how technical it is, but it's just so different from any other drum fill that anyone else does. And then I'm going to end it right after a big guitar, or big guitar slide. The future, the past has no claim on me. It's after the triplet. Bum, 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 yeah. Bum. Oh, I stopped right on time. There's like a, I'm going to go back a little more because it's on the, on the upbeat of four. There's some weird guitar harmonic. And I don't know if you're going to be able, this might be another thing. You have to listen to it in headphones with a much clearer sound, but here it is. I heard it. That dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 dun. It's louder than I thought. I'm gonna play that one more time because it's cool. Bum 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 ba da 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 bum 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 ba ba da. Bright light city. Oh no, that's not it. Sorry. Did you hear the double bass slide? Bam bam. Yes. Good. And then I got two more things right here. I don't remember it. I'm going to surprise myself. I wrote high guitar notes in the background. And then high I'll let it ride notes. out. There's a, it sounds, is it a piano part? There's like a, I can't tell if it's a keyboard, but it, it's, it's a very piano sounding keyboard part with triplets in the background. You may be right. It's very faint, the guitar though. Is that a piano? 
Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that piano part. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and that the high guitar that is it's pretty faint. You can hear enough on the side. It's cool because it's like on both sides if you're listening in headphones. Yeah, that's where Gaddy said, okay, look, guys. Okay, at this point, we don't have enough keyboards. Let me do this right here. <laughs> Take that, Billy Joel. <laughs> Teaching him a thing or two about what's on the piano and whatnot. Especially the what? <laughs> Man, yeah, don't underestimate the whatnot. Now, do not under that. Do you like that? And I don't know the... Is it a flanger? Or a phaser that they put on that drum brick right there. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, the the I think it's flanger. It's like that. It sounds like it's like on fire. <laughs> Let me see if I can Sorry. play it. Uh, <laughs> the burning drums. I think. Tell me. Try here. Here we go. Yeah, that part. That yeah. I, yeah, that's more I like flange. I visualize yeah, the the disturbance in the visual field when you see a fire burning, like something hot. It's right. that <laughs> phalanges. Now, think about it. Besides his drum solos from the earlier years, where he would start off as normal and then, I mean, you'll hear it on all the worlds of stage. You hear it on the three different stages live, their Farewell to Kings tour recording, where he'll go back in like to the snare drum and they'll put the flange on for that. And I think they do it on his drum break in Vitor and the Snow Dog. But you don't really get a lot of weird effects put on neil's drum sounds ever no but they no. put it on that yeah and it seems like there was a song or two in vapor trails but some flange which like on a snare was roll. after counterpart so i'm talking about <laughs> oh right 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 that point good point yeah good point good point yeah <laughs> swear Time is confusing. I made Jim swear. I know. In in podcast years, it was before because we did it. And no, we Jay. Jay. Time is a gypsy caravan. Steals oh. away the night to leave you stranded in dreamland. Maybe wow. time is a bird in flight. Endlessly mocking. Maybe. 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 Maybe just time keeps on ticking. Ticking, <laughs> ticking into the future. Oh, no. No. Shout out to Steve Miller. Right there, local, time local boy. should stand still. Mm. Yeah, just let Jay's comment reverberate through the YouTube sphere. Just, and just let it go out uh, there time after time. Spotify a so boy. If I could put what, thank you for joining a bottle. Us. Oh my gosh. You would have time in a bottle. <laughs> Put it on a watch. Put it on a phone. Mm. No time like the present. Keeps flowing like a river. Mm. Look at the time. As time goes by. All right. Well. I think it's and, time. And, and I think I can remember. Yeah. You can hear that flange in that and that part too. It kind of goes left and right in the speakers, and it seems like you can control. I think there's a stereo flange nope. where you can make it flange. Mm-hmm. No, there's not. Oh, nope. sorry, Jane. Nope. My bad. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> well, tell us what are your favorite parts? Favorite parts of the music and the production of "Cut to the Chase." Email us. 2112 at everyrushsong.com. Catch us on the social. We all know that's short for my shorthand for social media, right? The social. Yeah. Yeah. At every rush song. No, we did the social. I just thought you couldn't print out social media. I yeah. It's, you- it's just it's those long multi syllable words that yeah. I have such difficulties with. Tim, take us home, please. Yeah. Please. 
Muchas gracias, Guadalajara. Buenas noches. Damn it. I can't Where's find the stop button. Oh, that's important. There it is. Recording. There it is. Okay.